with a comprehensive understanding of simulation environment and the strategy it is about time that we start focusing on the next important module of this particular subject that is modeling here in this particular module we are going to take a top down approach what is top down approach it is actually a phased rollout as we shall see the top down approach for the sake of this particular subject has been necessitated because the networks are so complex to design that if we were to design the network one time and start implementing its simulation it would become cumbersome and in literal sense impractical so the top down approach suggests that take a phased rollout approach that is define the top layer then the layer below it then the layer below it and then model it in a way that the top layer is modeled first and the model of the top layer subsequently determines the layout of the lower layer and this on this continues in an iterative way this is the tcpip layered architecture in which you can see that the modeling at each layer is quite different from the other layers for example at the application layer we are interested in determining the end to end throughput but this requires that we must understand which tcp variant with what tcp settings are we using at the transport layer on the network layer the behavior of the routing protocol and the router itself is going to significantly impact the application layer throughput the lan card the medium access control sublayer access control mechanisms are also going to play a significant role and last not the least the modulation encoding and compression standards at the physical layer also have a role to play now with this rolling out strategy if we were just to consider it as a monolithic five layer approach we would be making a mistake why is it so because at the end of the day it is a human user that is using this system so the actual overall success of any network is to be gauged according to the goodness measure that the user defines as the quality of experience some of the aspects in the quality of experience are shown here scalability availability performance security manageability usability adaptability and affordability if we keep on extending this list may continue for the sake of brevity we are going to restrict our future discussion to address these one by one now the strategy that is going to work for us is if we want to model first we must understand what is quality of experience from the user's perspective how does it affect the quality of service and the parameters that need to be tweaked at each respective layer this we shall see in due course of time 